we have just launched a brand new patch, packed full of awesome new features. We'll cover some of the major changes in this video, but to learn about every little detail, check out the full patch notes in the description. The tracking trainer is now live. Hone your skills in five different training modules, each focusing on a key tracking skill. Experience dynamic training with on-the-fly difficulty adjustments, allowing you to train at your skill level and to observe improvements in real time. Rank up from bronze to diamond for each challenge to show off your skills and to set a new baseline for your training. The trainer also comes with some awesome new stats. In this run of Horizontal Smoothness 5, you can see the difficulty of each target and the damage per second inflicted. The first targets were too easy, so you can see the difficulty ramp up and see the DPS decrease. The horizontal tracking stats lets you see exactly where you were aiming on each target and by how much you were trailing or leading. You can also check your vertical tracking in the same fashion. The tracking trainer is free for anyone who owns Kovacs at the time of release, and moving forward there will be a small cost to access the content. Next up, we are excited to announce that Challenge Mode stats are now available in the Sandbox. Chart your progress with data from every run of every scenario you have ever played. This is the ultimate tool for analyzing and consolidating your progress. You can even see what settings you are playing on for each round. Playlists now have the option to randomize your experience. Choosing None will play through the playlist in order, List will choose a random scenario and play through the number of rounds listed before randomly choosing the next scenario, and Totally Random will select a random scenario after each round. We have recently launched a Crosshair Generator, which is now live at crosshair.themeta.gg, and it can also be found through the in-game settings. It allows you to test out your Crosshair, change any variable you would like, share it with friends, or even generate a Crosshair from an existing list of games. When the game starts up and downloads the list of scenarios from Steam, that now occurs in a different thread, and the progress bar is only shown in the Online Scenarios tab. Additionally, the cache of scenarios that was obtained from the last time the game was running is maintained until the new list fully completes downloading. This means you can immediately jump into playlists and online scenarios even while downloading the updated list. We have also added a percentile rank to the leaderboard scores to help you see where you stack up against the competition. We hope everyone has a great time playing this patch and exploring all the new features, and we would love to hear your feedback in the comments or on our Discord. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.